Everybody, you can hear. So in today's bonus build video, I'm going to be showing my Elementalist build. However, the reason that this is a bonus build and not a recommended build is unlike the Scion build that I showed last week, this isn't a case of this is something that I don't feel you'd be able to start a league with and do well. It's just that this is... I guess it, it's too standard of a build, I guess, is the reason. Like, if you've seen anything for the new league so far, you've probably seen people recommending Lightning Conduit back and forth and doing it with a an Elementalist because, honestly, Lightning Conduit is nonsense. It is true, true nonsense. This is a level 55 character in Act 6. That is nonsense damage. So it's not about, you know, oh, how do you make the best lightning conduit? Because I, I honestly, I don't care about that. I mean, I spent a lot of time experimenting with it. You know, I tried all the combinations, permutations you could do, you know, uh, totems, spell slinger, battle mages cry, cast while channeling, cast on crit. You know, like, like all the, anything I could think of to try to spice it up a bit. And in the end, it just it came down to one thing: the skill is so nonsense on its own. That really, if you're going to be using it, you might as well just be using it vanilla. Because... Let's just find the group real quick. You're all dead. Let's find something that's not going to die immediately. What's not going to die? Are you... Are you just not going to die? Yeah. Oh, we got some Einhar stuff, so this should do something. Oh, got a... Prepare that for us. Yeah, so, as is the case with all lightning skills, there is a very large variance. We'll see here with our arc, our range. There we go. Yeah, so... Our minimum is 256 on Lightning. Our maximum is 1429. Massive variance. Lightning Conduit. Our minimum is just over 1200. Our maximum is over 3000. Massive variance. And honestly, like that minimum is actually really good. Like, I'm actually very surprised by how high that is. If we look at Lightning Conduit, I'm oh, not Lightning Conduit Arc. Yeah, so you see that for a Lightning Gem, that's really, that's really high. We have a Toxic Burst here. Toxic Burst is pretty high, but a Toxic Burst I've noticed is a very powerful skill. Yeah, very large variance here as well. Yeah, so you can see. On its own, Lightning Conduit is 
ridiculous. And if we look at the gear I have on here, obviously having a barracks respite on any spell damage build is great to have. And in this case, you know, since this is a lightning damage build, it's even better because not only are you adding fire damage to your spells, you know, to like improve your your damage variants and to improve lightning damage itself. But it's also <laughs> giving us free elemental proliferation. <laughs> I mean, we have not done it for on our, on our arc. There it is. But, like, you know, if you happen to get one of these, that's a really good one. That's for any, any build that's, you know, that gets additional damage off of shock. Our helmets just, for the resistances, the flat life, uh, yeah, basically this is entirely for the defensive perks. There's nothing. There's nothing that's really helping us out with other than maybe some accuracy. Our wand is just a basic spell wand. I mean, yeah, it's got a lot of spell damage on it, but if you were to find the wand that had flat spell damage, you know, like like how this has the 23 to 41 fire damage to spell attacks. I mean, that's way better than 37% increased spell damage. If you can find one with flat, then you'll be better off. But, yeah. Have this on with a Herald of Thunder equipped. And for my shield, the reason that we're using this at all is that, yeah, we're getting some increased mana regen some extra energy shield and a little bit of spell damage. But in our build, I've actually gone to the trouble of actually specking into the shield spell damage. So if I'm holding a shield, I actually do way more damage. And also, I grab the caster mastery from there. It gives us further spell damage based on our intelligence. And our intelligence isn't huge, but it is Decent. Now we spec into some energy shield leech. Uh, of course, we have to go for this little spot right here because that gets us extra shock chance, increases the shock effect. And if you shocked an enemy recently, you deal even more damage. So it's just ridiculous. And then I expected to the mastery to get additional effective shock. Got some additional energy shield stuff here. Got some regen on that. Pop down to get the increased mana and spell damage, as well as making it that the more mana we have, the more spell damage we get up to an additional 40%. Daniel. Back into all of the energy shield and mana stuff here. Got all of the life and mana here, along with the uh, elemental resistances and stun interruption avoidance. Obviously, casting interruption avoidance. Got all the spell damage from here. Grab mind over matter for some. Damage mitigation and up here. Get some more stats, more mana, more energy shield, and grab more energy shield as mana. Well, oh, sorry, more I increase our energy shield based on our mana. Uh, on our gloves, you know, just lots of defenses. Uh, this belt. Is mostly there for the stats, the life, the cold resist. It's got some physical attack damage, leeches, life, and mana, but we're not doing any physical damage, so it doesn't matter. That's really, if you have a belt that gets you some life and some good stats and resistances, then it's the same as this. 
uh, on our boots. You know, we're yeah. Once again, just stacking defenses. And energy shield. The mana, Samarity. Our other ring is for bonus energy shield. Add some physical damage to attacks, but we're not attacking. It increases fire damage. Increases fire damage to attacks, but once again, not attacking. Increased to lightning damage. Then further bonus to energy shield and some life on kill. And our amulet is just bonus attributes. Has some spell damage, some increased lightning damage. And some more resistances. So, yeah, so really, all we're really getting bonuses from, as far as our damage goes, is our wand, this ring, and this necklace. Actually, did I go over this? So, our holy chain mail, just some armor, energy shield, some resistances, and some reflect. So, nothing, nothing special there either. It's all just this, this, and shield. Actually, uh, this and the shield. Since we need to have the shield on to get that big bonus to our our spell damage. So, uh, for for the setup, yeah, I've got Hero of Thunder and Discipline as my as my auras. I got Frost Blink as my escape. And then for our Lightning Conduit, I have it paired with Spell Echo, Archmage, and Intensify. The reason for the Spell Echo is that even though when you do Lightning Conduit, like the, the area is pretty big, but there's always a very good chance that enemies will be outside of the range when you do it. So if you shock them with, you know, if you choose to shock them using arc, you know, it'll get them all in line. And then there's a good chance that, you know, like even though a bunch will be on you by the time you hit your lightning conduit, you might miss some that were out of, you know, like either off the screen or just not with the pack that you were attacking. That's why I I decided to pair it with like with Echo because things that you know like because like normally you would only want to have spells. Well, yeah, like normally normally like a spell like Lightning Conduit where it consumes the effect. You wouldn't want to have an you wouldn't ha want to have it multicast. You know, you'd want it to do its thing only when Wow. That's a lot of blacksmith with stones. That is interesting. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, so like normally any spell that consumes a condition to do its damage, you wouldn't want to cast multiple times because it would only do something the first time it hits. But, you know, but since, you know, like there's always the possibility that, you know, you'll like the, the chain, like in this case, you know, like because we're chaining, we're getting... Our shocks in during a chain. That when we hit our lightning conduit, you, know, you might not have them on screen at the time, so want to make sure. 
You're definitely getting as much out of your lighting conduit as you can. Now, the reason that I have all of these other gems in my bag is that I wanted to show an alternative for this. Because while, yes, Lightning Conduit is nonsense, and I'm not sure why it was bigger in town than it is out here in the field. <laughs> but... Just noticed my Roomba's in here with me, so I probably had white noise showing up on the mic this entire time. Darn you, Roomba. So, I want to show an alternative to Lightning Conduit, just because, like, while yes, it's incredibly powerful, like, I, I feel like there are more fun combinations you can do. I'm going to swap out arc for attacks at first. Happen there. Not sure what that was about. Swap lightning conduit with Jack Nova. We'll swap go echo with unleash. And we'll We'll keep elemental proliferation and overcharge for now. But we'll swap them in a bit. That there. See these. And yeah, they are definitely not as strong as Lightning Conduit. But if we run into a group. To me, like I feel that that's, I guess a, like a much funner little, setup than, using lightning conduit. Yeah. So, I throw up my toxic burst. Oops, toxic burst. Then anything that survives gets hit by the crazy Rotatsk burst damage. And then if we go and we up our damage, so swap out overcharge for Archmage, and Elemental Prolif for some added damage. Now, Fatactic Burst is doing... Once again, still not... Lightning Conduit level damage, but very respectable damage. Find a... There we go. Something with the... There you are.
Ooh. Oh. Overcharge and dead eye. <laughs> Bad combo. Yeah, but triple casting Shock Nova is actually very fun. Like I, like I've played with Unleash a bit with other builds, but something like Shock Nova to me has always been like, oh, it's like you know, such a basic skill. There's no need to mess around with it. And the answer is, there's every reason to mess around with it because <laughs> it's actually. An incredibly effective. The standard attack skill, basically. Yeah, so so while I know that you know the I guess the meta for this league is if you're doing an elementalist and you have Oops, wrong one. If you're an elementalist and you have Shaper of Storms. Oh yeah, like, you know, like you're you're definitely gonna be doing way more damage using Lightning Conduit. Like I think it's still it's still valid to branch out a bit and you know, try out a Toxic Burst or Shock Nova or some other lightning damage skill that you enjoy using. Oh, they did not pick up any. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully video is giving you some ideas for any kind of Shock damage or lightning damage build you've been considering. And hopefully, whatever you decide on will serve you well during the current league. Thanks for checking me out. If you enjoyed the video, appreciate a, you know doing all the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to you all later.